So uh, European School of Hematology is, is a non-profit organization and is, we are organizing uh, conferences in the field of hematology, not only malignant hematology, but also non-malignant hematology. And uh, basically we do have different format of conferences. These conferences these days are what we call that international conferences. Uh, and it's disease based, so we do have some conference for myeloma, for lymphoma, for acute leukemia, AML, and no ALL. And actually, this is the first time we are doing a, a conference of that type on acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And we are repeating these, uh, these conferences, these international conferences, either uh, each year for CML, for instance, it was each year. Uh, or mostly uh, every other year. And uh, we will do that for ALL, for instance. This is the first, and we plan to have another one in two years. So this is international conferences. And uh, these conferences, the two key words of ESH are translational and interactive. So we want to have a, an overview of the disease from the basic science to, to the clinic. So this is really a translational approach and to mix the uh, attendees coming from the clinician area to, to, to the lab. Uh, so it's really we have MD, we have PhD, we have MD, PhD, and uh, also students because it's a school. So we do have also students and again, clinicians, residents, or uh, doctorant or postdoc uh, uh, doctors. And, and uh, the aim is to create interaction, to create interaction between all these people. And that's uh, the, really what we want to do with in, these international conferences. And we do have some other format of conferences, like, for instance, the clinical updates, uh, smaller conferences, but really oriented to clinical question and patient management. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with this first conference on ALL because the attendees is good and we, 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 we do achieve what I just mentioned, I mean the mixture between uh, scientists and, and, and clinicians. And uh, I prefer to have more interaction, uh, to be frank, uh, but it's, it's always difficult to stimulate the people to ask questions and to, to discuss with the, the others. So, uh, but I'm quite happy with that, and actually ELL is a good field because uh, there is a lot of uh, new, new treatment and new uh, uh, avenues coming uh, from the lab to treat the patients, so this is really a good field to, for this kind of conference, so I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. I think we will continue what we are doing currently, because it's relatively successful. And uh, uh, I'm happy to see that uh, my colleagues, not only in Europe, but also in America, for instance, or in Asia or Australia, uh, think that uh, these conferences are very useful because is, there is a gap in the, in the big meeting organized currently in, in hematology. And we are, we are filling this gap at least partly. So. Uh, I, uh, I'm quite happy with that, and we will continue. In terms of attendance, we, we, we are now relative, we have achieved a plateau in terms of number of attendees, uh, all these conferences, but the plateau is quite high, and we will continue like that. We have limited resources as well, so uh, we cannot uh, extend the, the, or enlarge these conferences more than this at the present time, but we have initiated some collaboration with, with pharmaceutical company uh, to sponsor our, our conferences and maybe we can do better or larger in the next years. Mm -hmm.